Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, the other day, and as you can see here in a moment, on July 26th, this uh, tweet came across my Twitter feed here from Nathan Reed saying, Huh, today I learned that C++ has raw string literals, including multi-line string literals, since C++11. I totally missed that they had added that. Well, it's true. This was added in C++11, and it came to my attention at that moment that I've never done a C++ weekly episode on raw string literals, even though it is something that I like to bring up in every best practices class that I teach. So, well, let's just go ahead and dive into raw string literals and show what they are. I am here at Compiler Explorer, as I tend to be, and in case you somehow are not familiar with this website, it is at godbolt.org, that is G-O-D-B-O-L-T dot org, and I use it, well, very often on this YouTube channel. So I'm just going to start typing out some C out statement here. Hello world and it should be executing in just a moment and here we have the execution output here and you just have to hit this a dot out button if you want execution output now if you wanted a multi-line string literal in c what happens if we do this well missing a terminating um quote here so in a recent episode, I said white space is meaningless. It's not entirely true. There's a few things that we can't split across multiple lines. So if I wanted a single string, I can actually do this, and adjacent strings are joined together by the C++ uh, that's during preprocessing, I believe. So that works, but um, this isn't, you know, what we wanted. We wanted a hello world with a carriage return in the middle of it. That is what we are aiming for here. So we can do it something like this. And I left a mistake in here kind of on purpose just to show you what I've got. This quote here and this quote as well as this carriage return, these things were all preserved in our multi-line string literal here. So I've got, um, this is partially, we're looking at some of the things that Compiler Explorer is doing for us, but we've got this quote, we've got the blank line, and then we've got several spaces of white space here, because every aspect of our raw string literal is in fact preserved by the compiler. So if we want the next line to actually start on the beginning of the line, we have to kind of pre-indent it, if you will. So every single thing that's in here is preserved. And this is really handy if you wanted to do something like whatever, something like this, a file name with a bunch of backslashes in it. If this weren't a raw string literal, then I would have to escape the backslashes. So I would have to do something that looks like this, which with complicated regular expressions and file paths and things with lots of special characters in it, it can be quite a pain. So we're just going to put it back in the raw string literal bit. Now there is this extra little feature here where you're allowed to put anything you want to in it. Now let's just say hypothetically I needed a close parenthesis quote in the middle of my string, like I've done here. Now, the string actually ends here. I've got my close parenthesis and my quote, and this is my raw string literal. The error that I'm getting is here because I've got this weird half string, and, uh, well, I, I can't escape it because escapes aren't honored inside of raw string literals, so what do I do? C++'s raw string literals actually allow us to make our own terminating tokens on either end of our string. So I can do something like this. Now this is starting to get a little weird and hard to read, but the capital R introduces the raw string literal with the quote, and then this is whatever I want it to be, followed by an open parenthesis. 
And then all of this to here is the actual raw string. And then I've got my close parenthesis, my identifier repeated, and my close quote. And that is the crux of the raw string literal. One way that I have used this in my own code, and I think I actually presented on this in one of my conference talks, but for the life of me at the moment, I can't remember which one. I do something like this. If I need to have embedded chai script, for example, or embedded um, regular expression, or Perl, or Python, or SQL, or whatever it is, I might actually make my raw string literal like this. It's got this close parenthesis, chai script, close quote and similarly over here. Now that's kind of long, but what it lets me do, and I have actually done this in my Vim configuration, I'm actually using NeoVim, is it will take that string and put the editor into that mode when I am inside of a raw string literal that has escaped with a particular programming language's name here. That's something that I think we should all kind of consider doing. It works quite well for embedded script if you configure your editor for it correctly. So uh, uh, that's it. That is the basic syntax of a raw string literal. And as I said, it has literally everything that is in here is recorded exactly as it is laid out. So we're going to get strings indented, strings aren't indented, white space, it is all there. I wanted to make sure everyone was in fact aware of raw string literals. So uh, thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly, and I hope you learned something new.